What's up? Roger Ratchet coming at you again. Uh, today we got the Grand Cherokee and we have made some video, uh, a video of putting in, installing an aftermarket stereo. But in this case, it's not just a stereo. We also have blown speakers. So, what we're gonna do, take us a little screwdriver, this little cap right here, we're gonna pop him out, get him out of the way. And what do we got? That should be a Phillips in there, which I can't see in there. Yep, Phillips. And to keep from losing him, I need to pull him out of there, which I need to get a magnet. So, grab a magnet and just pull that screw out of there. And we also have a screw in handle here pull him out he's also a Phillips and we've got one more screw and you would think that they would make that a Phillips but no it's a T25 torch bit so it's right in here in behind this uh, door handle door release handle yep he came out so don't have to get the magnet out with him now next we use our little panel popper tool and we just shove him back here behind our panel if we can find a spot yeah get some junk out of there get a spot to get him behind here usually the bottom corners are a good place to start because there's usually always a pop rivet there there we go well we had him under there but we lost him if i can just keep him in there just pop this one out while we're here. Work our way down. And these are some old pop rivets because I've already had at least one break. But that's okay. We're prepared for that. There should be one there, but not feeling it. Okay. Here we go. I think that one broke. To be honest with you, I think most of them broke so far. But an older vehicle like this is to be expected. Okay. We'll go all the way around to there. And go back to this side. And there's one there. Okay. So we got all those popped loose. Okay. So we should be able to. Yeah, we do have one down here somewhere we missed. So, there we go. So we just raise up on it, pop it off our window sill, and from the back side back here. I probably should have rolled that window down. Okay. Let me see. I can't see if you guys can see that or not. These right here, what we're gonna do is just push them outwards and then our rod will pop right up off of that. 
See, just pop that out, pop that upward, and then we've got a wiring harness here, and pop that out of that holder, and then unplug it here, and then we got, if I can keep the door here, unplug this one, and our door is free. Okay. Now, the video hadn't exactly been going as planned, but eh, it's not too bad so far. Okay, um, doo -doo -doo. you see, if I can get you, okay, you can see that speaker from there, I'm sure. Okay, now, our problem child. So, we got to put our Phillips back on here. Take our screws out of our speaker. And two more. And there's our speaker screws out. And now, and of course the ain't just going to slide off of there, so we'll use our panel popper tool again. Let's pull him out of place, unplug him. And there is our busted speaker, our balloon speaker, and just looking at it, I cannot tell that it's bloom. I mean, it actually looks like a good speaker. But it rattles and vibrates something terrible. So yeah, I can't see anything wrong with it. It looks like a good speaker. So hopefully we don't have another a bigger issue elsewhere. And I probably should have opened up this new speaker box before I got to this point. But here we are. Okay, well, here goes the foam. But it'd be all right. I don't know why I'm throwing that box in my way. So, there's one of our speakers and the one for the other side. Let's get that foam out of here. And the speakers I'm putting in here, guys, is the Pioneer. If I can get you to where you can see it it's the uh nag on where's my zoom okay the speakers we're using is the pioneer ts-a6967s they are six by nines 450 watt and I am hoping that it does not have too much base for the system and I know it'll they'll work good with the stereo but I will uh, post a link probably in the description down below of the stereo install and uh, at the end you'll see where I had to make a change because this has a uh, preamp already installed in the system itself now 
get some of this foam out of here. But I'm using these speakers, guys, because um, okay, as I was saying before, my battery went dead. The reason I'm using these speakers is because of the depth, and I don't have a lot of depth to deal with in the door itself. Now, to keep from hacking up my wire wiring system in this vehicle, we have adapters. Yeah. Just plug that right into our harness. Then we take and plug the big plug on the big port, a small plug on the small port. And then we can put it up here. Oh, and our screw holes even line up. Oh, ain't that nice? How often does that happen? That never happens. But it happened today. I mean, we're looking right at it. Okay. So. Just get our screws started here. If I quit throwing them on the ground. And get number three started. And number four. Now, we can tighten them right down. And um, on this install, fellas, we're not going to use this because this will take up more room than what we have inside of our panel. No, for you guys that has never worked on the inside of a vehicle door before, this right here, this this covering panel here, most of the time, you know, most vehicles, it'll be a clear plastic. You have a tendency to want to just pull it off there, water it up, throw it away, get rid of it. Don't do that, guys. You'll get cold in the winter. Because what this is in here for is to stop all the air it's coming in from your drain holes, your door latch. Outside, anywhere outside, the air comes inside this door. This is to stop that air from coming inside the vehicle with you. So if you have to take that off to work on your window or window works, let's uh, get that back on there, okay? Now, we got that back on there. We are back to our door panel. And it looks like um, we have two right here that uh, did not break, which it does not look like it was installed on a door at all. Nope, it was not. Yeah, it was, okay. Yeah, I see. Uh, all of our other ones did break. Um, yep, as you can see right here, they broke. So what we will do is we'll take something. Can't see my screwdriver right now. Just pull these broken ones out of here. These just have a little tab that I'm pushing down on us, slide sideways and comes right out of there. So, let me um, let me finish getting these out of here and I'll be right back. Okay, we're back. We got all of them out of the door. All the broken ones and as I said we were prepared we have new ones on the standby 
it's uh, good practice to have these on standby when you do this because um, you can't get the door to stay on there if you don't have these in there and you don't want to have to drive your car without the door panel on it you don't have your, your accessories and in the case of this vehicle none of your power accessories is going to work without your passenger side door hooked up anyway so with this one all you got to do is just slide them right in there now you uh, GM folks you'll have a split here you'll have to twist yours in but these ones yeah they just slide right in there you just have a little tab that locks them in when you get a slit in and these things are fairly cheap fellas so It doesn't hurt to have someone stand by anyway. So there we go. We got, uh, let me see, we got six, seven, eight of them. Plus the two that's in the door that didn't break. So, what we're gonna do at this point is we're gonna bring our door panel back in place. We're gonna plug in our big electrical outlet first. We'll retrieve our small one, plug it in, and then our two rods. I know you can't see what I'm doing here, but it's basically the reverse of what we did to take them off. Put it in the hole, slide that white piece back over top of it. And, uh, do what I just did and forget and not put it on the right side of the rod let's uh, get it lined up here get in there spin it around snap it on there and then once we get that done we can bring this panel up get it underneath of our rubber here for our window and it should slide down let's uh pull this out of here well if i can do this we'll pop this on our door panel and we'll do it this way Bring this up. I got something. It's not wanting to fall right here. You have to push over on your door. Well, get in place okay well fellas I'll tell you what we're going to do here I don't understand why do it here now but that won't go into that okay so what we're going to do here is we're going to go ahead and pop these ones out hey well you know i got that one off i'm breaking it 
Eh, somewhat. Okay. Now we're just going to slide these on our little pieces in here. Make this a bit easier so we don't have to fight it. Find our holes, there they are. And just tap it. And there we go. And all we gotta do is take the back of our hand and tap it all the way around. Tap them guys right in there. Take and get our window rubber. up on top of our panel across here. Tap these guys in all the way around. Make sure they're all in. And we need our screws. Start with putting this one in up here. If we can find a hole to get in. Well. Okay, here's that one. And then we'll get this one in the handle. The hand cradle, whatever you want to call it. And then, change our bit out. Hmm, have you guys seen that bit? No? Oh, okay, here it is. It was right beside the screw. Yeah, who would have thunk it? Okay, then we go in here and put this one back in. If we're lined up with it. There we go. And that's back in and our door is back together. Now, let us see if this speaker sounds any better. $100 for the board to buy four printers to ensure they have the proper equipment for upcoming elections. The county last bought voters okay. in 2021. We are sounding somewhat better. So, as soon as I get the other door in, uh, we should not have any more uh, nasty vibrating sounds. So that's it. That's how you replace front door speakers in a 04 Grand Cherokee. So, until next time, I'm Roger Ratchet, and thank you for watching.